Hey guys, this is Tyler here. I am coming to you from Estonia. I want to discuss with everyone why I think it's very useful and helpful to have a stock brokerage account and why it's very easy to get started with one, open one up if you already don't, and to start buying and investing in some stocks. So nowadays, stock investing, stock trading is so available to the masses. In many countries, people have brokerage options to buy and sell stocks. It's just been explosive the past few years, especially the past year, the number of accounts that have been open. There's been a lot of these common app accounts like Robinhood and eToro, Ameritrade. There's many other options out there. These companies have, essentially they've brought trading to the masses and it, it's very mainstream. You hear about it so frequently now in news. Even compared to like 10 years ago, I hear about stock trading and investing much more than I did, did before. It's great to have an account, a brokerage. Whether you have a lot of funds or a little, you can get started and start making some kind of income, whether it's passive, secondary, primary, whatever it might be. Now, you should still consider the kind of broker you're using and um, things you also may want to consider. Firstly, if you're using more than like $10,000 in funds, I would recommend you to stick to larger brokers or ones that are more specialized per your needs. I myself use TradeZero for both day trading and swing trading. It's a good platform. Another option is like Lightspeed. That platform is exclusively for day trading and there's some other ones out there. When you start using like apps like Robinhood and eToro, these apps are not really made for day trading per se and hardly for swing trading. If, if you look at how they're designed and you don't effectively have a complete platform web portal to make trades and having to use a small app, it's very challenging and tricky. Also realize that apps like Robinhood, we obviously saw with this GameStop fiasco, Robinhood is actually owned by a holding company. It's like an investment firm. Robinhood actually didn't have a lot of say when this everything was happening. The founders and people were unable to buy more of a stock. They could sell, but they couldn't buy more. Okay. Stocks like GameStop, AMC, Express, and some others. You should not have this problem in most cases if you stick to higher quality and just specialized brokers like Lightspeed, TradeZero, as I mentioned before, great options. They will not restrict these kind of stocks. This is something that you should look for if there's a holding company, if this is just like an API situation like Robinhood, I would stick away from it unless it's just a real small account if it's just to get used to practice whatever it may be probably best to stick with other trading platforms okay right now like in the market there's so many opportunities people sometimes think that it's very overwhelming that they're just going to lose money but you'd be amazed at the number of countless opportunities now i tell this to people day trading swing trading is not like an, it's not like playing poker maybe for some people it is options trading perhaps but i think personally that most people can profit effectively across a population from the stock market it's just a matter of what stocks they're buying and when they're buying them and that they're not buying them too late and if they are they're gonna have to be selling those positions shortly thereafter or else they're going to be on the losing side of those particular stocks and that's why it's it's really about timing at the end of the day if you're timing it right and also consider stocks are investments you're holding value in a company this isn't just like chips at a casino this isn't worthless piece of paper you have value like we saw with gamestop this stock went from like three dollars to 500 that's what the perceived value of the company was. Was the stock actually worth $500 a share? Probably not, but that's how high it went. When you're like making long-term investments in companies, effectively you're looking at this as a value investment, as similar to an angel investor or a, inv a seed fund investor. It's a similar concept. 
you, you see this as being something of value that's going to grow over time. Note that nowadays too, there's so many brokers available that most people can find something that works and that they can open an account with. If we went back like 15 years ago, it was much more limited the number of brokers and more restrictive. Nowadays, you don't need to have just like $25,000. If you're an American, you can find other platforms if you have less, if you want to do day trading, but you're gonna to have to realize that the fees for those platforms may be more because usually they're gonna be non-US brokers. That's just what, what's entailed here. Also note too that like with uh, stocks, this is something that you hold and it can go up in value as you sleep. You know that saying that Warren Buffett says that um, the only real way to become wealthy is you have to be making money when you sleep. It may not be Warren Buffett, but this is key to realize. Your money isn't in something that's growing in value over time, whether it's like crypto, properties, stocks, bonds. It's probably either going to remain stagnant or it's actually going to go down over time. And you're not going, um, this is one of the easier ways that you can become wealthier. And also remember, you have leverage. You Whether this is a form of collateral, whether it's in the sense that like if you have a stock account, if you have like a $25,000 account, you'll get $50,000 worth of buying power. And you can actually make very large or you you can make much larger trades than 25,000. If you have 50,000, you'll get 100,000. In some cases, you'll get 200,000 if it's four times leverage. Whether that's for a day trade or a longer term investment, as long as you have enough equity in the account, if you're confident in, in a trade, you, you can make much bigger trades than what the value of your account is. And this is a, another way that you can really start seeing major return on your money quicker. Or even if you're not using leverage, just normal equity, you have stock investments grow over time. I have a stock right now, it's called AKBA. It's, this is a longer term investment and I am currently up eleven and a half thousand dollars on this investment that I made in late November. Mind you, this is a longer term swing trade slash investment. There that's not I also day trade, but this is just an example. This stock based on analysis will be trip at least triple or even quadruple the price where it's at by the end of this year. This is how you make money when you sleep and how you see serious return on your money you, and you don't even need a lot even if you have five thousand or ten thousand probably still going to see more return pinning you pick some decent stocks and, and hold them and and just are patient with the the process here also now in the market we're in nowadays and how computers and technology are readily available unlike 20 25 years ago you can always get onto an account and and have all the real-time data that people would have, most people wouldn't have had accessible just a few decades ago. And you, you can trade in many different places in the world or check your stock investments. If you have a decent platform, it will provide you all the data. And this is very easy, especially if you're even traveling or if you're on an extended vacation, you, you always have the market available or if you're not comfortable like in, with certain stock positions you can sell at any point with this technology available that a long time ago not that long ago you would have needed to call a broker to make any kind of stock and on that same token like with day trading which relies all on timing and precision day trading wasn't a thing like 25 years ago, computers weren't fast enough. It, even if technology existed, we, we all remember dial computers. None of this was accessible for a common person that is now. And, and now you, so many more people have this accessible and can do it. And some people are successful, others not. But the 
system is more available to larger audience of people than ever before. Another aspect too is we look at current environment in many Western countries, it's very corporatist. <laughs> It, which is good and bad. It, this isn't just in Western countries, this is in Eastern countries. One positive aspect is that because it's very corporatist, there's many stocks available to buy and sell. And, and there's a lot of volatility nowadays in the market because of this, because there's a lot of stocks and there's a lot of capital, there's trillions of dollars in the market all around the world. There's way more money flooding through the market, both on an institutional and a retail level than ever before. And even if you don't like the corporatist aspect of your country or the world in general, this is a way you can profit from this aspect that a lot of companies offer stock shares and you can try use that to your advantage and, and capitalize on these market opportunities. In the last recent here is that the stock market is running most of the year. There's always opportunities, whether it's for investments or it's for day trading. You're going to be able to buy and sell stocks much of the year. There's always opportunities present in the market. And just like if you're trying to get a job, if you're trying to get like a gig, whatever it may be, there's opportunity to make profit in the market. And this is a big aspect if you're trying to make money, whatever it is, it's very common people can't get consistent customer base, whether it's service or product they're offering. In the market, you can be guaranteed to always have opportunity every single week of the year. It's open every single week. There may be days where it's not running, it's closed for the day, but most of the year it's open and it's available to profit from and to make very good investments or to day trade, whatever it may be. So give me your feedback below and thank you.